Hello, and we are back with some more Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster. Let's play. Where we last left off, we have acquired the airship. Um, we took care of the Magitech factory, got some new espers, and we have landed outside of Narsh. Uh, we're going to head inside and get the rest of the story going. So remember, if you like what you see, if you'd like to leave a like, comment, or subscribe, that would be awesome. And let's get going. We've been waiting for you. Please follow me. Oh, you're here. The people of Narsh have finally decided to fight the Empire. And the thing is going Vector. I see. We've been trying to work out a plan to make use of Narsh's resources and Figaro's machinery, but... We just don't have enough troops to storm the Empire. We have no choice but to open the sealed gate. You mean the gate to the Esper world? We'll never beat the Empire without their help. The sealed gate lies to the Empire's east. When we open it, the Espers can attack from there while we launch an invasion from the north. An attack on two fronts. We must re-establish the bond of trust that once existed between humans and espers. The espers must be made to understand, and there is only one among us who can make them. Terra. Hmm. If humans and espers were truly incompatible, I would never have been born. I'll do it. I'm the only one who can. So, let's have one chest here. It's like towards the top. This one was at. I don't think this is it. No. Uh, right here. down then. We're going to come here, down, and around. Ah, caught in the act. Empty. I'm a lone wolf, the pickpocket. This treasure's mine now. This way. Get out of the way, homie. I don't remember if he actually goes in buildings or not. There he is. Persistent, aren't you? So to get up there, I have to go through the mine. Go through here. Round.
There it is. <clears throat> Bog. That's far enough. Come one step closer and the Moogle gets it. Okay, so... Don't move. <laughs> Oopo. Got a wild one. Hold still, you little... Ah. You'll never get this gold hairpin. Yeah, we're going for Mog. Thanks, Koopo. You can talk? A Moogle who speaks the language of humans and can summon the Earth's power through his dance. Mog. An old dude named Ramu taught me your language. He kept showing me up in my dreams and telling me to help you, so I'm going to help you. Hmm, if that's how it's going to be, then take this. Later, dude. I'll wait for you in the airship. Some fun music. So let's head back. Again, we're going to ignore the treasures in the cave for now. Um, gosh, we can... Did we just see Bob down there? Oh, no, that's uh, Umaru. That's right. Now, we can go get Mog's dances. Hi, Maru. Where at? Mud. Tack. Tack. Alright, so let's let's go get some mog dances. Let's let's beef up mog a little bit. Come in. And who is it? Oh, no, we just talk to the people to switch them out. Here, they're downstairs. <clears throat> we'll switch out. Oh, duh. We'll switch out sensor. So we'll Terra, Lock, Zion, Lock. Make a wheel. Alright, I'm gonna check some things real quick. Abilities, Mog. We need to give him. Unicorn. So we have Twilight Requiem. So let's go to a little grass area. I don't think this counts. I think we need to dig it. Wrong button. I think it's gotta be these like this. Back attack.
Good job, Bond. Bond learned Wind Rhapsody. Find forest. <clears throat> Should be one right around here. Perfect. Forest Nocturne. Dance, Mog. Dance. Door shock turn. Okay, now we need a desert. Uh, we're right by one. Ah, uh, did it again. Did that not count the desert battle? It did not. <clears throat> Boo. This doesn't count. There we go. Alright. Need a mountain, so where is... There. Check the right button. And we got the Earth Blues. Go Zozo, pick up our city one. Sozo was what? There. And go. No. Sozo, I've never heard of it. Sit by the entrance, we can run right back out. Stumbled. Good job, Mog. Clutch as always.
I didn't count. <clears throat> Get a little further into the city. There we go. Now we got the right background. Not one slash. Nope, one grabs it. Stumbled. Clutch. This is why I never used Mog that much in my original playthrough of this. Love Serenade, get out of here. for the water one. Might take the entire episode just getting mods dances here. It's too far. careful about uh, saving over because I've heard there's some nice glitches with how that might work. Drop mug. Hey, you're useful, thank you. Blizzard. Mog still has not learned Walker Harmony. Come on, Mog. Give me a solid. Last. Up. 
check the equipment. Yeah, okay. What I thought. I thought he was hitting kind of weak. Um, mithril, mithril, a silver star. Mog's got nothing either. Let's give him a trident. Bit of buffer, because why not? Silver spectacles. Peace. Mithril. And Priest Mother. Why? I don't know if anybody can equip with anything. Break. She can't do it on my gun. Um. Free Spider. White Dress. Silver. Barrier? Reflect? Barrier. Alright, now we should actually be doing something. I can't believe I screwed that up. Probably should we come get your lock and blinded. Let's do that real quick. I drops. Let's go, let's go. Cyan Loom Flurry. Neat. Lazara. I should check spell statuses on my next stop. See where we're at with things. So 60 20, 80 80 60, 60 60 60. So we got a little bit to go. Okay. 
That's fine. Um, spin or spin it all the way down there. Alright, wait, what am I doing? So where is that? But something's seventy-five percent, seventy-five, seventy-five, fifty. Okay. Yeah. We're getting there. We're getting there. start working on my Final Fantasy V review. I've just been so excited to be playing Final Fantasy VI and the Strangers of Paradise and the VII Remake that I just haven't been able to sit down and focus on doing my V review. I've got a lot of stuff um, typed up. That was the right way. Um, I've got a lot of stuff typed up. I just need to sit down and do it. Um, but between, like I said, wanting to do these and then also working on my... Also working on my uh, master's degree stuff. It's, it's kind of fallen to the wayside. Now we're on the vault. Uh, I'm gonna go down here. So it was just announced that, speaking of Strangers of Paradise, it was just announced that um, the Strangers of Paradise is the fourth worst selling Final Fantasy game in the Japanese, uh, uh, Japanese uh, Final Fantasy series history, which is kind of a bummer. Like, it's, it's I'm trying to figure out how I want to, I mean, I'm only two two recordings into it so far it's definitely different and that I will say it is it is definitely different um, but I wouldn't necessarily say it's bad it's definitely just it's a different style I mean it's Dark Souls meets Final Fantasy it's kind of the best way I can describe that Which I guess, I mean, if you're not a fan of the Dark Souls styles of games, then yeah, it's not a fun game. I myself have never been huge on the Dark Souls games. But, I don't know. It's taking me a little bit to get used to it. I probably should just have Bond Dance, honestly. While we're in the water. Um... But you know, it, it, it's ref it's a different refreshing take, and honestly, where the game is making up for me. Ooh, 
We never apparently got this treasure. Where the game is definitely making it up for me is um, the story. And again, I know the story is cheesy, the acting is cheesy, but I'm kind of excited to see how they're taking this because I'm assuming that this is definitely prequel to Final Fantasy 1, which again, one of my favorite, if not my favorite, Final Fantasy game of all time. And I think this, you know, that the characters we're seeing are eventually going to be, you know, um, our fiends and, and Chaos Garland. So... I think that's where it's going, and I think that's awesome. I, I kind of really like that, and that might explain why the crystals they're holding aren't actually lighting up. I think these aren't our Warriors of Light, kind of like how we see in Final Fantasy III. These are our Warriors of Dark. I think they're, they're going to be the fiends. They're going to be the ones that, uh, you know, like they're going to absorb the crystals' powers. I think that's what their crystals are. Hey, look at all that levels. Or, uh, magic wound. Holy cow. But yeah, so I think they're going to absorb the crystals' powers using their dark crystals. And, uh... We're, we're gonna see... Um... Like I said, we're gonna see them be... You know, Tiamat and, uh, the Lich. And, um... Uh, gosh, who else do I have? Uh, Car uh, Carrie, or, or however they're going to word that, and Kraken, and then finally, uh, Chaos. I think that's what we're going to see. And honestly, I'm super excited to see that. I think that's awesome. I love that this possibility of where it looks like we're playing as the protagonist, but really we're going to end up being the antagonist, and I think that is awesome. That's an awesome take on this. Because I've always thought it'd be fun, um, you know, thinking about Final Fantasy 3 storyline, you know, or, was it 3? Not 3. Yes, 3. Clexus Cloud of Darkness. Um, been seen. Um, you know, I always thought it would be fun to see the warrior dark side, because, you know, the warriors of dark are always kind of, you know, emphasize. So, you know, we see them at the very end. They help you out at the end of Final Fantasy 3. I think it'd be cool to play a game as the Warriors of Dark. So, yeah. I, I, I said, so I really hope that's where this is going. I really do. Because I think this would be super awesome. Um, again, gameplay, I can take or leave. But the, like I said, and even the acting I can kind of take or leave, but the overall story I'm kind of excited about. I forgot to check these. 37. Alright, so Locke needs to switch his out. Cyan needs to switch his out. So he has... What's Phantom have? Berserk Vanish. Do I want him to have rays? Probably not. So yeah, like I said, that, that's kind of where I'm at with things, with, with, with that.
I think I'm going the right way, I don't remember. Good news is this didn't take. This is going to take the entire uh, episode to do Mog's dances because we've def we've we've gotten all the ones we can get. Assuming I'm going the right way and I'm not just completely lost here. Yeah, because that should take me back down to the bottom, about the other side. So yeah, we we didn't spend the entire episode uh, getting Mog's dances. Uh, just about three quarters of it. And that's fine. Maybe for those who need to see that, perfect. Once I finish recording this, I'm gonna start working on a five page paper. This is, uh. I hate when I'm assigned minimum numbers of pages have to be. I've always found that. If you don't tell me how many pages I have to have, I can write about 50 to 60 pages, no problem. You tell me I have to write, you know, five pages, I can't even write one. So, hopefully that's not going to be an issue for me. And for those of you who are wondering what I'm majoring in on this master's. I'm working on a degree in instructional design. We got our airship, yay! Sweet, um... I'm gonna head over here, because there's now something we can get. I always want to hit the wrong buttons. I always want to hit the the disembark button to go. Where's this guy at? Um. Move out of the way, kid. A dude hidden somewhere in here. I think it's the city. Do I have that part? Oh, there he is. I see him. Uh oh. Don't scare people like that. I thought you were an Imperial Trooper. Not too long ago, some people broke into the Magitech Research Facility and raised a huge ruckus. I used the opportunity to sneak in and grab this glowing stone for 3,000 gil. It's all yours. Heck yes. What does Seraph do? How close are we? 45. 24. Okay, so what is. I mean, they assume it'd be nice. The acquisition rate for Cura is not too bad. 
So, hang on, who's currently working on specifically Cure? Was that Mog? No. You are. So what if we switch... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Switch you to Seraph. Because the acquisition rate's much higher, right? Yeah, Cure's times one. That'll give us a times... Eight rate for that, times four rate for that. Only downside, she gives us nothing to level up. But I'm just securing, so let's switch you over. Now, what do you have to say? Haven't heard any juicy gossip, have you? Right, let's get out of here. How much money do we got? Because we hit the auction house. We do have quite a bit of money. And we can pick up some more Magisite. Let's go to... Uh, G-Door, which is up there. And go. I definitely want to get these Magisite. Now, because it just gives me more options. Hopefully those are one of the first things that pop up in the auction house. Auction house. Going up here. That's the mansion. Where's the auction house? I think it's the south. I don't remember. Oh, there here it is. Thank you. Again, this part's some of these parts start to be a little fuzzy for me. Looking for something special? Today's a Future auction is just about to start. Join it. Our auction music. The and inside. Beautiful angel ring. That's not too bad. Yeah. Come on now, don't be shy. Uh, this is a good one to get to, though. Mm, we're good. Let's see what happens. Seven thousand. Nothing I can't buy. Ten thousand. Shoot. Oh no 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 no! That was stupid. Bidding battle. Forget, do I just have to leave the auction house to go back in, or do I have to leave the city and come back in? Ah, oh, dang, I got 25,000 left. Angel wings. These are cheaper. I might be able to get away with this one. I might grind out some money in between episodes. <clears throat> I don't remember this stuff being this expensive. Inside. Angel wings. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Do I have to buy it for the next thing to pop up? Shows up as the angel wings again. I'm just gonna buy it. <clears throat> angel ring. Nope. Oh, 
afraid though that the magic might go for too much now at this point. Dang it. There we go. One more magic site. <clears throat> and I do forget. What does Zona do? Rasp Osmo Shell. But this rate's huge, but the out that level of for magic two is nice. Show me the other magic site. Come on. Chocobo. Tacobo. Daddy, I want that, please. Not? No, you don't. No, I bow. I want it. I want it, Daddy. Daddy, buy it, pretty please. Oh no, don't be shy. No, we're not betting on it. Five hundred thousand gil. Five five hundred thousand gil. Sold to this lucky better. Take it away, please. Yay! Thanks, Daddy. Yahoo. Well, we have our little treat for the day. Let's go home. Yahoo! Yippee! Our little treat for the day. What a D-bag. Come on, show me the other magic site. Let's go. Nope. How many talking chocobos does a family need?
this is where I kind of wish, like how it was in Final Fantasy III, at least there's a couple items at a time, so you could not have to go out every time. Come on, show me the other magistrate. Let's go. Dang it. There we go. Dang it. So I need 20,000. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and call this episode here then. I'm going to go do some gill farming. Um, and then... Uh, we'll come back and I'm gonna get the we're gonna get in the golem magicite and the angel wings um, I couldn't remember how much the golem would go for and well poop so uh, like I said we're, we're gonna leave it here if you like me saw if you'd like to leave a like comment or subscribe that'd be great um, when we come back, like I said, I'll have the, the Golem Magicite, I'll pick up the Angel Wings, so I'm gonna need, what, 35,000 I think it was. And then, um, yeah, we'll, uh, head to, uh, continue our storyline, so, um, until then, we'll see you next time.